they have decentralized the short, uh, the, the, the short listing of students from center from Kampala. Like in the past, the students have been shortlisted in the Kampala, but no access to information. And you find someone is in the village doesn't know that the government has given him chance or her chance to go and study on government money. But because the information is not well accessed due to our levels of our families, so someone ends up missing that chance. It was very interesting that, for example, people, people don't know that when you complete P7, you go to a vocational institution, a technical school, and then you can move up. We have received, uh, for example, applications from even the neighborhood here who didn't know that their children could go to technical schools, which we have actually incidentally around here. The enrollment was very low because um, the selection exercise is done, they fill job forms, the selection exercise is done in Kampara, the lists are displayed in Kampara, some of those even who are selected never get to know that they were selected. So by come bringing it closer to them, we have been able, first of all, like I said, to go to the radios and tell them about the new uh, shift from the centralized selection to decentralize it. Our young people are not guided to make sure that they come for these courses. They all believe I must go and get a degree from this university for me to be a better Ugandan. But skilling is the way to go. In fact, it is the best. It is the best for, for, for us. <laughs>